So J.D. Vance has been scrutinized heavily by Democrats since becoming Donald Trump's running mate. So can the senator from Ohio recover his momentum with less than 100 days to go till the election? And can the GOP flip the Senate now that Kamala Harris is on the ticket? For more on that, let's bring in Ohio Senate candidate Bernie Marino. Uh, Bernie, you are a friend of J.D. Vance. Uh, you, you talk to him often. He's taken a lot of heat over the last week or two. Uh, what does he say about it? Well, he stays positive. He knows it's all about a, about a lot about nonsense. Uh, he's right over the target. The reality is that Democrats can't stand J.D. Vance because he takes away their number one talking point, which is that they're for the working class. J.D.'s life experience, uh, what he's campaigning about is putting America's, Americans first, knowing that we shouldn't leave any Americans behind. But under Democrat policies, we've lost manufacturing. We've gutted our middle class. We've seen inflation absolutely crushing working Americans and seniors. So, of course, they want to change the subject about quips two or three years ago because it's all they've got. But J.D. is a great candidate, a great human being. I'm so excited to have him at the top, at, uh, at the, top of the ticket with President Trump. Right now, Chuck Schumer is the majority leader. He says that with Kamala Harris uh, running for president, he expects to keep that job. In other words, he expects that uh, the Democrats will continue to control the Senate after November. What do you say about that? Well, uh, you know, he's delusional. Uh, the reality is the American public know that Chuck Schumer has not only been the absolute most extreme Senate majority leader, he's been absolutely ineffectual. They can't get bills passed. This is a guy who believes in a Green New Deal, banning, frac banning fracking, banning red meat. That doesn't play well here in the Midwest. So he's going to uh, be the minority leader. Uh, hopefully in New York, the voters will wake up and get rid of him completely because I think all voters have ha are sick and tired of these forever politicians that have done nothing in their lives other than live on a taxpayer dollar and they want to die in office. It's time to retire these guys. That's what this election season is going to be about. Our Harris Faulkner uh, interviewed your friend, J.D. Vance, at the um, National Association of Black Journalists Convention. Here's part of that exchange. Why did you choose J.D. Vance? I chose him because he's a very strong believer in work and the working man and woman. He's a very smart guy without the benefit of having a family that has contacts. You take a look at you know, his career has been an amazing career. He started off at a level with a, a difficult family situation. And of course, she spoke to President Trump about J.D. Vance. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, at any rate, um, the president, the former president, uh, still is giving your friend J.D. Vance his full support. Well, J.D. was a brilliant pick. Uh, he's the first millennial at the top of the ticket, first Marine. A very successful business person, great author, incredibly intelligent, incredibly articulate. This is a phenomenal pick. He's going to do a great job. The reason you know he's going to do a great job and was a brilliant pick is because every single left-wing media outlet and left-wing extremist in this country is attacking him. Think about that. Uh, because J.D. Is, is the living embodiment of the American dream. This guy started out in a place where all the odds were stacked against him, and he was able to break through. So he's going to do a great job. Republicans are fully united. I can tell you here in Ohio, they're going to come out very, very strong for J.D. Vance. All right, Bernie Marino. Bernie, thanks very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.